I can use water, clean water, but um, they recommend usually saline. The book actually recommends that you put this in a hot, warm water bath so that it's close to body temperature. I've never known anyone to do that, but that doesn't mean it's not a good idea. Um, so I have my, my fluids here, and I've got two ports on the bottom of it. This little brown one is so a nurse can inject medication into it. So just like they draw medication out of those things and they don't leak, that's so, uh, you know, I think in the book it talks about how you could actually inject like a, a antibacterial or something into this to shoot it into your wound. But we're trying not to touch this part and gum this part up. Although this is, you know, it was probably sterile when I pulled it out of that bag. So if I hang it up here and I don't touch the end of it, it's still sterile. I don't want to be touching the end so that I don't jam my, my needle through and make it unsterile. So I'm going to pull this open. I'm not putting on a gown today so that I can see you. Gown, I am wearing a mask and eye protection because when I, when I get good at this, I may not have to do it, but there's always that chance that something's going to bounce up. And do I really want anything that's <laughs> coming out of her wound, bouncing up into my eye? Um, I promise it, it will happen. So some of these actually come with like a little clear plastic thing that you can throw over and stick the thing through. And so there is really a small chance that you're going to get it to splash back on you. Um, this company doesn't come. One of the other companies actually comes with a big plastic wrapper with a little hole in it. You throw that on there and you stick your port up through there and then you don't probably have to wear as much protective gear. So I start getting stuff out of here. Um, as soon as I start touching these things, whatever I'm touching is not sterile anymore. But some of it needs to be and some of it doesn't need to be. So that doesn't necessarily need to be sterile. That's my battery pack. I have my this, I'm going to have to be touching this, so it's not going to matter. When I pull this out of the bag, it's not going to have water in it. <laughs> okay, so now I have two ends to this. One's going to go to my suction, and one's going to go to my saline bag, right? So, which one do you think is going to suction? The needle one's going to the saline bag, right? So, I need to support this because if I just start pushing thing that I'm going to tone in that thing off the wall. Okay, I still haven't touched my needle end, so my needle end is still sterile. I got this little protective thing on there, and I'm going to flip this thing up. You can do it a couple of different ways, but I'm going to shove it right through there. So now I have sterile needle into sterile saline. Right, I have my wand, and now I have my port. That little blue thing in there is just helping it keep its shape. So I gotta get that little guy out of there. And then I've gotta stick this into my, it can only go in one way, because water's coming out of one here, let me. There's two ports coming out of here because one's suction and one's going to be the water. Um, so I can only get it in there one way. And now I want to use this. This is still sterile in here if I haven't touched the insides of those walls. Um, I can actually start to turn that on. And make sure that water is being sucked up as it's being shot down. You know? So it is spray and sucking simultaneously. On this one, if I use this end, it's the, the end that um, like the physician, the orthopedic surgeon might use in uh, a surgery to clean out a bone that they've cut or something. So if I shoot this end at her leg, I could damage her leg. So I gotta use the, the top side of it to keep it from coming out too fast. Well, I just I come over here and I turn it on a little bit. If 
I put it on you and it starts sucking up on you, then I'm going to change it. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and try it with Mizani. And I still haven't contaminated any of my ends, right? I'm not going to cover up quite as much as I ordinarily would because I want you guys to be able to see what's going on. But I'm going to be prepared for not getting as much suction as I wanted. So I've already gone through my contraindications. What are my contraindications? Acute infection. Inflammation. Too much suction. A lot of beating, a lot of suction. Maceration. I could maybe. Partially. Do yes. maceration if I I might use this instead of the whirlpool if they're really mm -hmm. macerated if I want to get the wound and I want to protect the skin around it. Tunnels are tunnels good or bad? Tunnels bad. I don't know. Is it? I think you really want to tunnel on you? I'm not cleaning the tunnel. I think it would be good for a tunnel. Wouldn't it be good for a tunnel? For tunneling? It said wash for tunneling. You're gonna fill it all up with water. It's gonna suck it out. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, yes, yeah. So if I put this on her and I have this turn away at five. You can see how fucking pure her skin. Ah, you don't want that. Ah, So that's probably a little high. Good. I can go around to different places. It's kind of cold, but I guess the sailing, you don't get warm water. So it's probably too high there. So that's another good point. I usually not have the patient watch. I usually lay them down. I may even put a towel on them. Um, I've had students and clinicians that will give the patient a mask. Hey, you want, if you want to sit up there and watch, I like to watch everything. You know, if you're going to cut into me or pull slavage me, I'm going to be watching. So, you know, maybe offer them. There's a pair of goggles. I mean, you, know, you go to the dentist the now. Dentist, they yeah. give you the goggles because they're exactly. shooting that water in your mouth and it's coming back out. So it would be appropriate if it's going to be a place where she could get zapped would be to give her uh, a pair of goggles or something to protect her from her own gut. Not quite as gross, but it's still pretty stinking gross. Yes, <laughs> Not in my eye, just the one thing in the leg. Why are there two, the, the tip of it, don't, has, yeah. So this one's real soft, and, and that, that would just firm it up a little okay. bit, depending on what I'm trying to do with it. Some, so sometimes it they want a real firm okay. feeling. Okay. I can also, with a pair of sterile scissors, you can see multiple levels here. Mm -hmm. I could cut this down to make it smaller. And there's actually little holes in the side of this thing too to help reduce how much suction so it won't suck to my skin as much. But if I turn it up high enough, I can suck more than those two little holes are going to let escape. All right.